Alright, y'all, it's about 6.04 p.m. Monday, September 16th, 2024. Jesus Christ, our Christ Jesus, the uh, Holy Christ Jesus, oh, Jesus Christ, I pray. Uh, make this video right for y'all people. Y'all, I just got something to say. Please understand that I have read the Bible uh, about three times now. And please understand that I know that all of the accounts of Jesus being on earth is basically accounting for the fact that Jesus is male based off him being nailed to the cross and then having a cloth over his groin area. All right, please understand that I thoroughly understand that when I'm telling y'all that Jesus is also a female that basically dictates that he's a male because males can wear their shirt off, right? And still cover up their private area, right? But women have to cover up their breasts and their private area, right? So, I understand that. But if y'all kind of look deeper into the fact that um, that God or that God redeemed all flesh with uh, with dying for everyone's sins and, and being resurrected and everything with Jesus dying for or redeeming the flesh in such a way based off the power of God, period, right? Please understand that I understand that. But if you think about it, if God redeems all flesh, shouldn't God be all flesh, right? Shouldn't that make much sense that makes sense to me and also it makes sense to me to look at the fact that women have children and they have either a boy or a girl or even twins boy and a girl within themselves or girl and girl boy and boy or multiple more than just two children more than twins within them right they are creating that God is constantly blessing them to create, to gestate within themselves, within a woman's body. They're able to gestate children, create children within them. Now, is that the act of God? Now, men don't do that. Men don't do that. They can't do that through Christ. They cannot give birth through Christ. They can't do that. Women give birth through Christ. It has to be so. And with that being said, it makes sense that Jesus is also a woman. In order for women to give birth in a holy way, right? As God wants everyone to be holy and to be holy in their ways, being God-like and Christ-like as sinners and sinless servants of God, that just makes so much profound sense to me that it's just kind of like where have we been at for over 2,000 years, right? So please understand that I thoroughly understand that the Bible talks about him, 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 son, the son, the son, the son, the son. But also understand that when we dealing with shine with the word big and the devil using the word big the whole idea of being big is kind of coming from being masculine or being dominant over another person, really being dominant. And as males are more dominant than females based off natural physical strength, then the whole idea of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit always seems masculine, always seems like a male dominating other males. So it makes sense to say that God is both male and female in order for God to rule all males and females. That makes sense to me. So I know I'm, I am schizophrenic and everything, but <laughs> please understand that that makes sense to me. I'm sorry, and nothing else really makes sense to me. I father, I, I fathered, I followed the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit when I was back in, when I was like 23 years old, I didn't start following, 
following this until around like 2016. Uh, around 2016. So that's really all I got, y'all. I'll see y'all on the next video. Christ Jesus, thanks for blessing me to tell this to your people. Thanks for blessing me with the knowledge and portray it clearly and cleanly, Jesus Christ, and concisely. Christ Jesus, Jesus Christ, thank you. Around this holy moment, your holy all time, about 6, 10 p.m., Monday, September 16, 2024, I pray. Thanks, Christ Jesus. Amen.